I just told mom she couldn't take a sip of the drink that we just got. And what'd you say? We got the Charlie cold foam and the blueberry matcha latte with almond milk. So we're going to review it. I haven't tried it yet. No, you're not supposed to. We're supposed to review it in front. <laughs> All right, well, hold right. on. What's up, guys? We went to Dunkin' Donuts to try the new Charlie cold foam and the blueberry matcha latte with almond milk. Oh my God, it's a bomb. <laughs> it's the bomb, she says. I've never heard her say that. Oops. It's so good. It is good. It tastes like a blueberry muffin. All right, the best way for me to describe this is all right, only certain people will know this. I went to go see a dog and it licked me, so don't mind that. Um, I'm allergic to dog spit. But anyways, so the best way for me to describe this is if anyone remembers Pop-Tarts came out with a blueberry muffin one. My mom and I used to buy it all the time. It was the blueberry muffin Pop-Tart and the inside was like a blueberry muffin doughy filling and it was so good. This tastes just like it and it's so freaking good. How's yours? Mine is well, I already included this. My mom tried mine already, and she said it was really good. It was good. Want to try it again? No. I love mine. Let me say it. I can't really drink it, but I'll take a little baby sip. It's very good. Look at you, Dunkin' Donuts! I feel like Dunkin' Donuts is always following with the trends. Like, Starbucks has done the cold foam for, yeah. like, a little while now. Yeah. And then, it, obviously, Dunkin' Donuts was probably like, oh, people really like this, so we're going to do it, too. And so they started doing it now. And then the matcha thing, they just started doing matcha. This is a new thing for them. I know they never had it before. And they have iced and hot matchas. And then they have, like, a this blueberry one and I think just, like, a regular one. And they have a matcha donut. Um, I didn't get the donut. I probably should have grabbed the donut to just try it, but next time. This is very good. And I love, so matcha has a very distinct flavor and some people either really like it or really don't like it. Do you like matcha usually? Yeah. Mm. Matcha isn't, it's not green tea, but it's like, how do you, I can't describe the flavor. But it has a very distinct taste, like <laughs> like green tea does. Mm. Now, mom, quiz time. Do you know who Charlie is? No. Do you know what TikTok is? Yes. Do you like TikTok? Yes. So there's a girl on TikTok yeah. who was the first girl to like get like I don't even know how many followers. She has like nine or fourteen million followers or something. Okay. She's like the most popular person on TikTok. Is this girl? And she loves Dunkin' Donuts, and she's been partnering with them. So now this is her first, or maybe second drink ever with Dunkin' Donuts. Oh. She's a young girl. She's from Connecticut. She's like 16, maybe? Wow. Seven? She might be 17. But yeah, that's Charlie, and this is her drink. You're drinking it, not mine. That one. It's called the Charlie Cold Foam. And I got the iced blueberry matcha. Overall, what do you think? Very good. All right. So this, this series is the Shut Up Sundays, and I figured what we would talk about for this one, it's going to be not a very long one, but we'll talk about where the name Shut Up Camilla came from. Where Do you know where it came from? Did I say? Yeah. <laughs> so I've had this name since MySpace, throwback to MySpace, but um yeah, I had MySpace for a while, and it was... Did you just spell on yourself? Yes. <laughs> so I've had MySpace for a while. Um, my name on it was, like, Camilla Catastrophe, 1-800-CAMILLA. Um, <clears throat> it was... I don't know. There was, like, a multitude of names. But it eventually changed to Shut Up Camilla, and I remember the day that I did it. It was because you literally told me, you were just like, shut up! <laughs> Like, maybe, like, three times. And it wasn't, like, a, like, shut up. Like, not like that. She was just, like, stop talking. And it was, like, maybe, like, three or four times. Thank you. Shut up anyway. <laughs> so I remember being, like, all right, shut up, Camilla. Done. And I carried it, carried it on from MySpace 
to Facebook, you couldn't make your name shut up, Camilla. So it was like Twitter to Snapchat to Instagram and then to TikTok and YouTube. So that's where that kind of stemmed from. Um, but what was the what was what was the name that you were going to name me? So my name is Camilla. Jasmine. What was it? Jasmine. Why were you gonna name me Jasmine, Mom? I like Jasmine. That's what. Is it? Does it have yeah. anything to do with Aladdin? <laughs> So that's so stereotypical then. So you wanted the Aladdin is about like Middle Eastern, like Arab, pretty much. That's what they are. And you wanted to name me after the movie that is about Middle Eastern princess. You were a princess. Were. <laughs> past tense were. I'm not yeah. a princess anymore. You don't be girl. I'm a big girl now. <laughs> and then, um, so my mom had me in a hospital in Springfield, Massachusetts. How old were you? Yeah. You don't remember how old you are? If I'm 27 now, you're 60 now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Math. Math. <laughs> so you were 33. Yep. That, that's kind of older to be pregnant, right? No. No, like a lot I'm of people are pregnant. pregnant. I'm 40. No, I know, but I'm saying like, I feel like back in the day, like people were getting pregnant at like 24, 25. No? Melanie was old. Melanie is my aunt. <laughs> She just said Melanie was old too, as if as if you guys can't hear it. Melanie's my aunt. <laughs> Sorry, Auntie Melanie. Um, <laughs> no, it's okay. You never said anything. She's just older when she had when she got pregnant. Um, so you were thirty three. How old was Dad? Same as me. We actually don't know that because fun fact, my dad doesn't know how old he is. Um, and this backfired. So, like, we always, um, for, for, for a while, like, whenever he would go to his work, sometimes they would just give him a cake and make a joke and say, like, oh, you don't know what day your birthday is, because he's from overseas, they don't keep track of their birthday. Mom says that, that it, that her birthday is real. Does she look 60 to you guys? I don't think so. (laughs) Um, peace if you're not. (laughs) Um, yeah, so... That backfired on us because I, this is probably the longest you've ever taken to drink your drink ever. Um, yeah, so it backfired because um, so we actually got our COVID vaccine because I'm immunocompromised. My mom's immunocompromised. My mom has lupus. My dad has severe asthma. So we actually got our COVID vaccines. But if if we weren't immunocompromised and could just do it the normal way, mom's te- technically 60. So she would have been in the next bunch because right now they just opened it up <coughs> for 65 and older. So she would have been in the next bunch. However, however, my dad typically should have been in the next bunch because he's probably, how old would you say dad is? Like 60? My dad likes to say he's in his like high 50s. I think he's like 60. But because he came to this country and he didn't know how old he was and they asked for his birthday, my dad was just like, oh, 1971 was the year he chose, making him 11 years younger than my mom, which would mean that he's 49 years old. My dad is not 49 years old. So my dad would not have made it for the next bunch, not the next bunch after that, but probably the one after that. Um, so yeah, we tried to get him the vaccine just cause we, we get very nervous for him. We're going for our second dose on March 18th. So we're still trying to be super careful. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm really excited. I'm hoping that this leads to herd immunity. Um, I'm still going to have to be super careful because it's not hundred percent effective um, you're still gonna have to be careful. It's not, it's like any vaccine. You, you get the flu shot, you can still get the flu. Um, especially since it doesn't protect against that new strain. So we'll still have to be super careful, but, um, we're really happy and we're really blessed. And I hope everyone who wants the vaccine gets the vaccine. And, um, I think the goal to have like the mass amounts vaccinated by June, July, I think. Um, but yeah. Hello? Yes. The people are looking for you. Don't look at your phone. She's playing Pokemon. All right, that's our that's our cue. Did you finish your drink? She finished her drink. That's why she looked down at, at her phone because she finished her drink. 
Thank you so much for hanging out with us on Shut Up Sunday. Like, share, and subscribe to this video. Let us know what topics you'd like to talk about for Shut Up Sundays. And we'll talk to you guys on the next one. Right, Mom? Yep. Ready? Do you, what do we do each time? Ready? 